Okie dokie. So what I have here is a wall. This is wall paneling. It's actually wood. It's been painted. And before you do what I'm about to tell you, you need to have it primed at least. So this is wood wall paneling. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my mud knife, skim coat over it, mud and tape the seams where they butt together. I'm going to show you an example of what this is about to look like, what you need to fix it, and how to fix it. So come in close. See, here's that wall. These walls were just the same. I'm going to make that wall look just like this wall. And that wall. And this wall. And this wall. And this wall. Okay. Everything is going to look good. Everything's going to match. So I'll show you what you need to do that. All purpose mud, I'm just using it right out of the bucket. I scoop it out with that little uh, little mud knife in there and put it inside this metal mud pan. I've got two different size knives, a smaller and a little bit larger, a sander, something to pry your nails out with, and some tape. You can see. I've, all I've done is anywhere, there was a nail right here and a nail right there and a nail right there. I took those nails out and some of these other spots, like right here, they were paint spots that were sticking way out. Um, maybe we, I can find one. Um, stuff like this that's sticking out. Let's see, once I scrape that off. Uh, wasn't a very good example, but anyway, um, all I'm doing is taking a mud knife and scraping off all the high spots. You can see anywhere that's high, it's gonna come off and you scrape it uh, pretty hard, quite a bit of pressure. And like that. And you're gonna do that on the whole entire wall. Get all the nails out, get everything flat. Anything that's an indention is fine because we're gonna fill those low spots in. We're gonna fill in all those low spots. Right here, um, it's gonna need tape, mud and tape on this seam where the two wall panelings meet together. There's one right here too, another line that's gonna need mud and tape. And unfortunately it's right next to that, but it's still gonna need it because it'll show. And another example is this closet is actually what the rest of the house looked like. And I primed it and then did exactly what I'm about to do on this wall. Okay, can I put the easy to fold? It's easier to fold this way. So I'm putting it that way flat on the wall here, over that seam. And it's gonna be messy. You're gonna have to repaint your, I'm gonna have to repaint my cabinets and my trim. Okay, so you can see I've got a few places I've scraped up off the floor here and I'm gonna have to clean this all up so I don't spread it around the house. This can get a little bit messy. I'm gonna get all that cleaned up. But this does not have to be perfect on the first go. You can see on wall paneling, like in that closet in there, that you're just going to go down the lines go down these lines the wall paneling lines i do reckon it's going to take a while for that to dry so come and have a sit eat some eggs with me it is day two 
You can see the floor is clean. It's all dry. And there's little cracks inside the cracks. That's gonna be just fine. That's okay, that's normal. There's indentions. That's because overnight when this stuff dries, it sinks in a little bit. Where it was thick inside those cracks, it's cracked almost in every single one. That's okay, all the way around. There's little uh, craters, cracks, and, and you know, little waves. But remember, my little waves are going like this and they're very small. If you have big clumps sticking out, you're gonna wanna scrape that off. And before I start mudding this a second time, I'm gonna do just what I did before and take my bud knife and scrape what might be any little high spots on there, okay? So I am gonna do that. And I'm gonna apply a second coat of mud the same way I did, but all sideways this time, from left to right or from right to left. Here is the wall. I'm back after a second coat going sideways from left to right and right from left. It's looking a lot better. Um, there's gonna be small, you can see where these are still sticking out slightly, just ever so slightly. But whenever I go top to bottom again on my third coat, that'll fill these in. I'm gonna bring you back whenever I do and I'll let you know how many coats this ended up taking. What? There is the tape spot and the other one, still pretty thick. That's gonna take a little while to dry on that left side where it was low uh, last night. This will dry faster. This should dry by the end of the night. And before I go to bed, I'll put another third coat on. See you tomorrow. Whew. Okay, you can see it's gonna be quite a mess. It's gonna be quite a bit of work. I ended up putting five coats. Yes. Five whole coats. Now I'm gonna nail this trim board to the top. I'm going to prime, paint, tape around the trim. I'm gonna do everything that I need to do to get this done. I think that's everything except for caulking. I'm gonna do caulking as well and mop and clean and I'm gonna bring you right back to see if this five coats of inch per inch, centimeter per centimeter and yard per yard. Here is the final result. You can see that is now not rock. It is as smooth as a baby's bottom wall. I need to do a little paint touch up there at the bottom and I forgot to do the caulking. Helpful in any way, go ahead and like it. Subscribe to my channel if you like home improvement videos. Cut. Cut, cut. Cut. And always keep in mind that if you decide to go to plan B, this is what it's going to be. Plan B. Get to work, Skippy. Get to sheetrocking. I got it all on my channel. This is a different property.